Hey guys, welcome back. So today's viewer submitted question is from Mohammed Khan and he left me a question on my video on how I fixed my stuck HVAC controls on my Crown Vic. So Mohammed's question is he's got a Crown Vic or a Grand Marquis and he's got the fancy electronic automatic temperature control unit and the problem that he's having is he can't get it to switch over to heat to bring heat into the passenger compartment. So right off the bat, the first thing that comes to my mind is you may want to get out and check the uh, engine coolant uh, in the engine coolant reservoir to make sure you have enough coolant to bring the engine heat to the heater core uh, to bring uh, heat into the passenger compartment. So after you get done checking that, uh, you might want to come into the car and check the uh, error codes in the uh, electronic uh, temperature control unit. So uh, I'm sitting in my 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis and I'd like to show you how to do this procedure and uh, what the results should be on a properly uh, functioning system. And I'm even going to try to capture the noises that your actuators and the uh, blend door motors should be making uh, under the dash during the recalibration uh, process during the self test. Uh, during the self test. So um, when it's doing its thing, I'm not going to be talking. I'm going to put the camera under the dash to try to capture those noises. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first thing you got to do is uh, get your key and put it in the ignition. And uh, you're going to turn the key to the uh, key OEO, and that means key on, engine off. So you're going to turn the key to the run position without starting the engine. So that should look like this with the bong bong noise and the lights on the dash. Okay, so now let's get started. <clears throat> so right now, I want you to pay attention to the setting on my HVAC unit. And right now it's set to uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So remember that. So uh, the first thing you got to do is you got to turn this thing off. Okay, now the next step is you have to push the off and the floor button at the same time. And right after you do that, you're going to push the automatic uh, button. And that's going to trigger the self-test, and you'll get a little spinning wheel in the dash here. And I'm not going to film that because I'm going to put the camera uh, under the dash to try to capture those noises. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so this test can take up to 30 seconds to complete, and when, when you're done on a, function, a properly functioning system, uh, this is what you'll want to see. You'll want to see 888, and the rest of the control display is lit up. Now, when the self-test is complete, uh, to end the test, all you got to do is push the defrost button, and it's going to go back to normal, and I'll try to capture those noises again. Okay, so we're back. Oh, it's still making those noises. Okay, so once you're done with that, uh, you can push any button to turn this back on, and I'll push the defrost button. 
Now you can see that it's not set at uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit anymore and now the fan speed is actually on medium so that should let you know that the uh, self-test uh, actually happened. Okay, Mohammed, uh, hopefully that helps you out. And uh, once, if you do get an error message, uh, I've put a, uh, a link, or I've written uh, the definitions of the error codes down in the description. And once you get your error code, now you can begin your diagnosis. And uh, you may want to uh, get a hold of a uh, shop or a service or repair manual to uh, find out what you got to do next. And by the way, uh, I do have a video on how to obtain uh, free automotive uh, service and repair manuals for any car online. And I'll put a link to that video down below too. Or you can just uh, keep watching more uh, YouTube videos. And uh, one video you might want to check out is by uh, Ford Tech Make You Loco. And he's got a really good uh, repair video how to, to uh, replace the uh, silicone O-ring seals that go bad in the HVAC unit. And of course I'll put the link to that video uh, down below. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.